Hey everybody, Lock Daddy here with an update real quick. As we can see from these pictures right here, Mount St. Helens' largest eruption in 1980 doesn't even compare to Yellowstone's biggest eruption back in the day. How does this equate? Well, this is Mount St. Helens, absolutely gorgeous. Notice in the center we have three recorded earthquakes there in the last 24 hours. If we go back a little further, oh, look at that. Locked out, Photoshop. This is a common theme, especially around St. Helens, Yellowstone. See, we got another one right here. You can see some of the orange dots where this is yesterday. The quakes were taking place across the volcano. This is the magma chambers filling up. And as we move over to the Yellowstone caldera, or the rim of the Yellowstone caldera, here's what we see. This looks like cracking to me. Now, I know those are rivers. They look like rivers right there. But over the course of time, the ground is cracked. The water fills it in. And if you look right here, that's the center of the Yellowstone Caldera. There was an earthquake in there. Here's a closer shot of it. These were taken yesterday at some point in time. Now, not far from is Jackson, Wyoming, where they have a mile and a half long runway. You can do the map by the chart at the bottom of the picture there. We have the hazard map right here, which is showing some earthquake activity in the Old Faithful area. And when I try and zoom in, oh, you guessed it. This is what I get because I don't think they want us to know that this is coming. And why is this coming? Well, let me tell you. We've got a lot of solar activity going on. You can see here with the coronal holes on the top and the bottom of the sun, there's also a sunspot working its way in from the left. We need to keep an eye on that over the next couple of days. You can see a better picture there that, hey, the sun's active, it's waking up, and the rich people, well, what are they doing? They're building bunkers, but you know what I like to call these right here? Rich people tombs. If these things get active, the earthquakes keep happening, and volcanoes erupt, that's it. Rich people tombs, folks. If not, oh, hey, maybe the fracking fluid will get them that's already in the ground. I don't know, folks, but keep an eye out. Be safe.